and Running, the program that showcases athletes in action. Once the cannon sounds, there is no escape from the upward challenge in the Northeast Delta Dental Mount Washington Road Race. Your carburetor will be wide open for the entire 7.6 miles, but it's only one hill. Off to the races in the Shelter Island 10K on the east end of Long Island. Settle in and let the sea breezes carry you around the island. There's always a very proper gathering of spectators. World-class athletes out front, then thousands of metro area fitness runners in the Oakley, New York Mini 10K. For women only, the Central Park West start allows you to set your pace. Don't worry, the hills of Central Park are always up ahead. By the time you get to the starting line, you pretty much get the message. It's strictly Ladies' Day in the Dirty Girl. Dirty Girl! Go with the flow, there's always more mud around the bend. A maxed out field takes care of personal fitness business in the American Heart Association Wall Street Run and Heart Walk. The mission, fighting cardiovascular disease and stroke. My heart, my life. Exploring the world since the year 1415, the Portuguese spirit is alive and well in the Portugal Day Run in Central Park. Even here, there are always new horizons. New York City and Boston Marathon winner Meb Kaflevsky has been running and winning since his early teens. He knows the joy of the finish line. When you see the finish line, it's a great feeling because you're almost home, but it's not over until you kind of go there and then you kind of put your hands on your knees and like, thank God it's over. <laughs> Waimea Bay on the north shore of Hawaii throws lots of looks. Giants surf in the winter and lazy waves in the summer. The Waimea Bay swim is a favorite of the sun, salt, and surf crowd. Aloha. A typical weekend morning could be anywhere in the United States. Road racers summon their energy for the miles ahead. A pre-race shared excitement that is special in this sport. But today, the stakes are a bit higher. Actually, very much higher. It's the Northeast Delta Dental Mount Washington Road Race in New Hampshire. A fit employee, we've, we've tabulated this, a fit employee who is self-actualizing and happy with himself or herself delivers better external service, which helps us grow the company, which in turn is a beautiful cycle so we can in, invest in races like this. The false summit of Mount Washington looms with a total elevation gain of 4,650 feet. Two break away early. Joseph Gray, closest to the camera, second here last year, and Eric Blake, last year's winner. Shannon Payne leads the women. In her first ascent here, she locks into a pace and doesn't back down. While the main field toils below, fierce clouds hit the summit, dropping temperatures to the mid-30s, with wind gusts to 35 knots. At about the five-mile mark of the 7.6-mile race, Joseph Gray has opened 20 yards on Eric Blake. Gray is the first to see the extraordinary White Mountain Valley open up below. Shannon Payne has opened up a 60-second lead. Her only focus, the next step. You don't dare look beyond the next turn. The scope of the uphill task is not to be underestimated. Joseph Gray, first into the clouds. And first up, the 22% grade that gets you to the finish line. Once above the tree line, the views are great, but the hill doesn't go away. 
Shannon Payne wins in the fifth fastest time ever recorded in this 54-year-old event. If you can still run up the final 22% grade, you can consider yourself very fit. And your reward, unique to this event, a treasured warm blanket. And let's not forget the medal to confirm your achievement. The Northeast Delta Dental Mount Washington Road Race, because it's there and you are a runner. Looks like race day on Shelter Island. A new twist on warm-ups. Addressing the crowd, Boston and New York City Marathon winner Meb emboldens the starters. And no 10K does hurt. You know, when it, when it hurts, just know that we are able to do the things we do. We're going to run. We are be able to run. So thank God about that. Finish strong. I feel so delighted and to be proud of America and to bring back the medal in 31 years to Boston. And thanks for everybody. <laughs> The 35th Shelter Island 10K is off for a pre-sunset tour of this special island, which lies between the north and south forks of Long Island. Number 104, Jonas Mabratu of Eritrea would go on to win a battle at the front in 2906. Meb runs in fourth along the beautiful waterside course, a flat, fast 10K with lots of personality and a benefit for local charities. Former Villanova athlete Francis Coons goes on to take the win in 34-26. For East Enders, the race is a great way to start the summer. A chance to invite your friends over to your summer house. Make sure to tell them to put in the correct reservation. One if by land. Two if by sea. Meb heads in fourth side by side with Wheeler Peter Hawkins. The Shelter Island 10K. Road racing at its best. Nice town, great course, local charities, and a tribute to those who give us the freedom to run and race. You race here because you can. Up next, a charge up Central Park West in the Oakley, New York Mini 10K. Once in top gear, the fastest at the front, then the festive followers celebrating this oldest of all women's only races. Nearly 6,000 women psych up for the 43rd Oakley New York Mini 10K. Among the favorites, Mamatu Daska of Ethiopia and Lynette Masai of Kenya. The Mini has long been instrumental in getting women started in the sport of road racing. Hi, I'm Katherine Switzer. I ran the Boston Marathon in 1967 and an official tried to throw me out of the race. Five years later, 1972, they made us official in the Boston Marathon. And the inspiration for that race was to create this race, the New York Mini Marathon, in 1972. The publicity was tremendous. 78 women were on that starting line that day. And who would believe now, all these years later, that women outnumber men in road races in North America. In the United States, 60% of all of our races are women. We've come a long way, we've got a long way yet to go because there are lots of women out there who need us. Nothing is more easy and convenient than running and walking. Get out there, put on your shoes, put one foot in front of the other and dream big. You can do anything, it is fabulous. Central Park West for a mile, then into the park. Leading in the hilly north end of the park, Mamatu Daska, then Lynette Masai, and in third, Molly Huddle of the United States. There's a $35,000 prize purse waiting to be sorted at the finish line. Back to the front, Daska and Huddle each throws in a surge. Then it's the other one's turn. 
With a mile to go, Molly Huddle gets just a few yards. The tail-enders are in no particular rush. Their Red Rose and Finisher's Medal are there patiently waiting. Huddle increases the tempo and eases away. Back a bit. Lots of cheers in the middle of the pack. Kristen Yohaz gets lots of attention from all sides. They told me that I'm an inspiration and um, I'm doing a great job and it, it means a lot and it keeps me going. It's really, it's really awesome. The other women out here are an inspiration to me, so we're all doing it together. Molly Huddle, a women's only American 10K record. Sky's the limit for the first timers. The mini finish is just around the bend. The Oakley New York Mini 10K, made for more. A great way to get that fitness lifestyle in high gear. There are plenty of finish lines up ahead. Tri-State Dirty Girl in Pemberton, New Jersey, calls on all ladies to get out of their comfort zone and let the hair down for a good cause. Not your typical pre-start warm-up, nor is what's ahead. Tri-State is one of 25 Dirty Girl events across the country this year. And wearing the team t-shirt gets you into the action a little quicker and a little deeper. With the goal of inspiring women to stay proactive in their breast and ovarian cancer health, Dirty Girl is a proud supporter of Bright Pink. Run distance is about 5K, but no one is counting. Some choreography at the one mile mark, but about to change to a more street level performance. There's no clock, and the reason we do that is because we're really encouraging all women, all shapes and sizes, to come out, have a good time, and do something unexpected, push themselves to get over these obstacles and really just do something they might not have done otherwise. The Dirty Girl is really unique because of course it's all women um, and it's just a really fun way for women to get out and do something unexpected. Do something that challenges them, uh, get out of their daily routine and just come out and have fun with the girls. So we think that's a really good reason to just get out, come out with your friends, family, support breast cancer awareness and coming out for a good cause. Bright Pink is great. Their focus is early detection for breast cancer and ovarian cancer awareness. Uh, we are just so happy to be partnered with them to promote early detection, uh, getting young women and old women alike out there and becoming aware of the steps you need to take to do get that early prevention. Seeing some women come across and this is the first 5K they've ever completed. That's a really cool feeling for them. Seems like there's always more mud at the next station. Dirty girl. A little fitness, a lot of fun, a ladies' day out of the office, all for a great cause. It's your chance to shine, so to speak. Up next, to the financial district for some street-level action. 
build your fitness portfolio one mile at a time in the American Heart Association, Wall Street Run and Heart Walk. My heart, my life. It's an early happy hour for major American corporations who want to get the message out to their employees. The American Heart Association Wall Street Run and Heart Walk. Time for some personal business. Your health. Events like this really show New Yorkers how easy it is to just be a little bit heart healthy by doing a brisk walk every day. A good 30 minutes of walking every day can really help prevent heart disease. And Mount Sinai has about 300 employees here today. We've raised about $30,000, all to help New Yorkers be healthier, to help the American Heart Association raise money for necessary research, and to educate New Yorkers about ways of being healthier in all of their uh, daily activities. With all the work that the American Heart has sponsored over the last several years, we're finally at a stage in which we can actually significantly reduce mortality related to cardiac disease. Exercise, physical activity, risk reduction, that's what it's all about. American Heart really exemplifies that, and this is the best event to show that. This is the culmination of a, a long campaign where we've had record, set record numbers on the campaign this year. So uh, just phenomenal. Um, everybody banded together for such a great cause, and it's just a wonderful night. It's as important as anything we can do. It's a subject that we've been talking about for two years, nutrition, exercise, fitness. This is the embodiment and an example of our employees of how serious we are supporting a run like the American Heart Association run. We've got 700 employees out here today, raised a lot of money for a lot of great research, and we're thrilled to be here. It's not about how fast you go, it's just that you go. 80% of heart disease is uh, about healthy living, and that's what we're doing right around the world with City. We're getting everyone to get engaged in a real healthy lifestyle. So we're excited to be presenting sponsors here today, and we're excited uh, about tonight. Tonight's event raised over $2.2 million for the American Heart Association. Lots of footsteps, not only elevating your own fitness level, but making a major contribution to important research. On Wall Street Run Day, the bear sleeps, the bull roars. For many in the field, their first steps that lead to a healthy heart and a lifetime of fitness. One of the reasons we're here today is that our, our mission dovetails perfectly with that of the American Heart Association, which is to promote heart health and healthy lifestyles. I absolutely think the message is getting out there through the efforts of uh, American Heart Association, but the challenge is getting people to actually do something once they hear the message, and that's, that's what we're all about at New York Health and Racquet Club. I mean, we really provide the opportunity across our nine locations in Manhattan for people to come in in a comfortable environment and get healthy. The American Heart Association Wall Street Run and Heart Walk. For your health's sake, be bullish. My heart, my life. The Colors of Portugal welcome you to the starting line in Central Park. Portugal, world runners since the 1400s, invites participants to explore the Central Park course and savor a taste of Portugal in the festival area. This is an amazing event for Portugal. It's a way for us to reach the American public and to show a little bit about our culture, about our traditions, about our music, our food, meet new people, understand how they live, their, their interests, their culture. I think we're making a lot of new friends. Portugal, Europe's west coast, calls metro area runners to come over for a visit. Portugal, passionate, genuine, friendly. This segment of running is brought to you by Skechers Performance Division. 
go like never before. Whether going a mile or a full marathon, fast or slow, there is no joy quite like seeing that finish line just ahead. When you see the finish line, it's a great feeling because you're almost home, but it's not over until you kind of go there and then you kind of put your hands on your knees and like, thank God it's over. And sometimes like in New York or New York, definitely when I won New York City Marathon, I don't want it to be over because I was enjoying it. When I was Boston, I'm like, come fast enough, come fast enough to that finish line. So when you're pushing your body, you know, you are, you are tapping into something that you never tapped before, but when you do it for a greater cause, it's an amazing feeling. Savor the final steps and don't be shy about celebrating. Up next, in the winter months, a well-earned reputation as one of the fiercest shore breaks anywhere. But come summer, the Waimea Bay Swim invites you to savor the crystal clear waters for a special aloha morning. The 30-foot winter Waimea Bay waves on the north shore of Hawaii have earned their reputation as big and mean. Quite the opposite six months later. The latest stop on the five-event North Shore Swim Series, Waimea Bay. This time of year, the water is crystal clear and the water about 80 degrees. Easy to stay in contact with the swimmer in front or the sea turtles below. The Waimea Bay Swim. Enjoy the Pacific before the 30-footers take over again. That's all for this episode of Running. Get up and get going. I'm Lisa G. See you next time.